a new league has been made. This Dallas Cowboys team is not the same Dallas Cowboys you know. Just like all the other 31 football teams, this team has been redrafted, rebranded, reinvented. Derek Carr and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers looking to make history as being the first team to win a Super Bowl in the brand new jumbled era. But Mike McCarthy and the Dallas Cowboys, quarterback by Aaron Rodgers, looks to make some noise. Let's get this series started. So we're going to go here on the Dallas Cowboys. Going to go ahead and go to Fantasy Draft and then go here to Settings and show you guys what we got. So here's going to be automatic competitive pre-order bonus. We're going to turn that off. We want to earn everything. All right. Uh, instant starter on trade deadline off. Um, trade type will enable all. That means the computers can go ahead and do some trades as well. Um, salary cap on abilities on. Uh, injury on. Yeah. Pre-existing injuries off. Practice squad stealing on. Progressive fatigue off. And practice injury off. Um, here we'll have no restrictions or anything like that. Uh, I was debating whether we're going to keep the regression on or not, but I decided to go ahead and keep it on because we are going to be playing the games here against the computer. We're going to do our best to win these games. And, you know, we're just going to try and have some fun while we do it. Tutorial popped us off because we don't really need that. Everything else we're going to try and do ourselves. And let's go ahead and see how this fantasy draft will do and see if it drafts us a pretty good team. Now, in my opinion, how many X factors I think that we're going to have, I think we're going to have three good ones. I think three at least really good players that we're going to have on our team, have to rebuild and see see how good the team is. But we're going to go ahead and start the fantasy draft and let's see what pick we get. We get the ninth overall pick in a draft. So we're going to go ahead and pause the draft right here now. Honestly, I would like to go ahead and draft my team and have all these rookies and stuff to go ahead. But just for the fun of the video, we're going to go ahead and submit to the end of the draft and see what our team is. So with the ninth overall pick in a whole fantasy draft, see if we can get somebody good. And hopefully it's a good quarterback. All right. So I see that we have a 83 overall offense, 80 overall defense for a total of an 81 overall team. Now, that's actually really good. But let's go ahead and see the team and see how what well we did. You guys are going to see it with me. We get Aaron Rodgers as our quarterback. We get Zach Martin back. And we got Adam Thielen. So we have three good abilities to work with. Cam Akers, Michael Davis, and Sonny Michelle as our running backs. We got Zach Faskell, uh, Russell Gage, Adam Humphreys as our wide receivers. And Jared Cook, about to cook. Hey, you know, you know where that came from. Uh, CJ Uzama and Logan Thomas as our tight ends. And the offensive line isn't really that bad. I see uh, Vera Tucker here as well. Is he a left guard? Or, yeah, he's a left guard. I feel like we're going to go ahead and start him anyway. Oh, Roger Saffold. I think Roger Saffold, we're either going to go ahead and do this right here. And I feel like that'll work out a lot better. Well, having Zach Martin here on the team is actually pretty good. Um, don't really feel like that's a bad thing at all. Um, we're going to have this nasty streak here, and we're going to have post up just to help us out a little bit. Here at a quarterback, we have at the quarterback position a really good, you know, piece of help. So we have Gunslinger, Dashing Dead Eye, Pass Lead Elite. We're not going to keep that. We're actually going to put this out for Hot Route Master, and then go here with Conductor. And then over here, we're going to actually put on Fearless. So, not really bad. Dashing that out to kind of help out. Gambler, not going to throw any interceptions when we make consecutive passes, bro. We're, we're just going to keep slinging that ball, and hopefully things are going to happen for us. So, glad that he's here on the team to do what he does. Adam Thielen, woo You feel me? Just on a team, helping us out. Slot of parents. We really don't need this anymore, so we're going to go ahead and do route tech and deep out of lead and see if we can go and do some stuff there. And then the defensive side. I think we have one more X factor on the defensive side. Because I don't think Adam Thielen. I don't think Zach Martin. I'll, I hope not Cam Akers is even going to be like a second round pick. So let's go over to the defense and see what happens. Here on the defense, we actually get Brian Burns. 
we get Darius Slay. We got uh, Harrison Smith, which is actually not a bad squad. I see Derek Brown, Jeff Okuda. That's actually a really good pickup. We get Zach Cunningham, uh, Akeem Davis Gaithier. Is that Kelvin Joseph or Carl Joseph? I think that's Carl Joseph. I see Elijah Moden, uh, Carl Lawson, Javon Holland. We actually have a really good squad. So here on the defense is really not bad. Could we get better? Maybe a little bit, but we're just going to go ahead and rock out with this team. Not going to do any trades. We're going to see how this team does throughout the year and see if we can go and bring a Super Bowl ring. So here at the specialist, I see Cam Akers going to be our main guy. Russell Gage down here. And really, we're just going to rock out. One thing I really don't, uh, I don't, I realize is that we don't have any rookies. None of the rookies in this class is here. So we're going to have to make something pop. So here's the whole team right here. We're going to go ahead and spin it for you guys. And this is the offense that we got to run with all season. The Tennessee Titans offense. Now, I don't really know what the Tennessee Titans run on offense as we go ahead and look it up here at huddle.gg. We're going to go ahead and look at it real quick. I see ace close, bunch, deuce close, wing, wing tight. I I mean, uh, Y deep trips. I see I form close, pro, wing and slot, strong close. Let's see, you got bunch, bunch of wide flex, spread, tight doubles, trips, tight end, offset. We got a lot, and we got wild, uh, Wildcat as well. So we got a lot of stuff that we can do here. Empty, base, flex. We can do a lot. We can definitely do a lot with this offense. I can't wait to use it. And now we are going to go back to the defensive side and see what we are going to use for that as well so here we go spinning the wheel seeing what playbook we have on defense to use and it looks like it's going to be the new york jets defensive playbook jets defense has four six bear under four three no more over over plus and wide nine and even got that five two normal double a gap normal wide nine dime normal and dollar three two six so we're okay like i can use five two normal um i can go ahead and use nickel normal uh four six bear under is pretty good too dollar three two six but i feel like with the team that we have here for five two normal it looks like it's gonna be brian burns maurice hurst Derek brown carl lawson and maybe zach cunningham or akeem davis gaithier on the edges to do something there and then darius slay okuda harrison smith javon holland is going to be in the back so we're definitely going to find something to do but um yeah i can't wait to go ahead and use this team with these playbooks and see if we can get ourselves super bowl now here are the rules for the series we can only do five trades a season so there's no training for the best pick we got to hope that we go ahead and get that keep it a little bit realistic and i think another rule that we're going to have to have is we have to play every single game Yes, every single game. No matter if we're winning or we're losing, we only get one take to get this right. So that's what we're going to do. And uh, we, I, I just don't like here on a team that we don't have any rookies. So I want to go ahead and get to week one in a bit. But I want to see what rookies can be here that we can go ahead and pick up. Um, Darlin is nice. Oh, my man, it's Calvin Austin is here. Yo, that'll be a huge pickup right there. I think we need to take that right there. That'll be an instant upgrade. I have Calvin Austin in my Express League that I have. So it's really nice to see that the new Steelers wide receiver is going to have some nice action here on the team. I found a nice little goon right here in Eric Johnson. 82 speed, you know, 6'4", 299. 82 speed at D-Tackle, that's actually not bad. But... I don't know. Maybe for this type of series, we probably wouldn't even use it that much. Um, But yeah, I feel like we got to use it on Chris Wilcox to kind of get us some help with the speed on the team. I feel like we can go ahead and use our second one on him. That would be a good pick. I see Kerry Vincent Jr. here. That would be another great pickup. Mike can get lucky here. Tyson Anderson and Zane Anderson. Oh, man. Nessie Johnson is here too. AJ Moore is here too. Oh man, there's a lot of good free safeties here. Especially if you're playing in the league versus other people. Oh, Isaiah Pula Mula. Oh yeah, Isaiah Pula Mula. Yeah, we're gonna need you. We're gonna need you on this team, my brother. So I feel like that's what we're gonna use as far as rookies to try and help us out. And, you know, bring this Cowboys team over.
So now with all the changes being made, we are going to sit here and move all the way on to week one. I know injuries is on and things can happen, but it's a part of football. So we're going to go ahead and advance and we're going to see how the Buccaneers stack up against us and see what their weaknesses are. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and look at the Buccaneers user. I mean, not user. I keep calling them user because I'm so used to being online. But we're going to go ahead and check their roster. They got Derek Carr at their quarterback with Jacoby Brissett as the backup. They got Austin Eckler and Bryce Hall. That's an and Tyler Batty. It's a nice little three-headed monster back there. I'm not going to lie to you. Bruce Miller as their free safety. Not the free safety. As their fullback. Cortland Sutton, Jarvis Landry, Marquez Galloway, and Austin Dillon with uh, Justin Ross here. Really not a bad wide receiving core. Pat Ferdimoff, uh Albert, and Trey McKitty as our tight end. Not really bad. Offensive line with Isaiah win, 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 no matter what on the team. Nate Davis. Not really too much to show for in the offensive line. So Brian Burns should eat. Drake Johnson here. Um, who else they got? They got Dietrich Wise as their right end. They got Jordan Davis. So they have a pretty young D line. Like, that's actually a really good D line to have. Hassan Reddick as their left outside linebacker with Kingsley. Uh, they got Troy Anderson, the tall 6'4", 89 speed middle linebacker on the team, which is actually a really good pickup. Um, they got Micah Parsons on the outside. Wow. This is a very young part seven. Then they got Shaquille Griffin, Trey Waynes, J.C. Horn, Troy Pride, Roger McKillop. Bro, now they got some really good corners, I'm not going to lie. Uh, they got Malik Hooker and Greg Odom, and they got Buda Baker, their big boy. Buda Baker making things happen for them. With Graham Gano as their kicker. As I forgot, we got to go get kickers, so... That's what we're going to go ahead and do. We got a full roster, but we're going to go ahead and release some people on this roster to go ahead and make room for some kickers because I don't really think that we even have kickers. But if we do, that might be a GG's. We, we, might, we might be good if we actually, they actually give us a kicker. Okay, they gave us Tucker McCann, which is actually not bad, and they got Brandon Mann here too. So we'll be fine. Let's go ahead and head into this game. Week one of the season, man. Let's go ahead and kick this off. Get on defense. Set the tempo early. Because this is this is all that the team is, man. We are early team, bro. We do everything we need to early. And now, we are picking for this game. Coast suggestion. Well, we're taking it for every game. But coast suggestion is only whatever is on triangle is the play that we are going to pick. So, my coach suggestion is, is going to be changed real quick. And then whatever is triangle, that's what we use. So it's going to be Will Bliss 3 press. Oh, we tried to get that pressure early, but you can see automatically the deflator going into work. And now we got corner Bliss 3. Oh, wow. He threw that quickly. Oh, wow. Okay. So Derek Carr might be that dude. Ah, I tried to bait it. I tried to bait it. I saw a gun he had the underneath. We gonna, we're going to try and slow this team down. They're a high-power team. Wow, what a cutback. That was a good cutback right there from Eckler. Hey, they're winding down this clock, too. They're trying not to let our high-power offense get on the field. No, 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 no. Chill, 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 Bro, this all Madden, bro, they know exactly where everything is going to be open and will not hesitate to throw it, and it's real annoying. Good sack. Was that Carl Lawson? Let's go, man. Carl Lawson getting back there, man. And then one of theirs goes down. Speedy recovery, but let's go ahead and recover back on defense. He goes with the play action. We're not afraid of it. Look at Darius Slay. Darius Slay gets Moss for the touchdown, man. By Cortland Sutton. All of a sudden, now we're down 7 nothing. Now coming out to the field is the elite, Aaron Rodgers. You guys can see that man right on top of me, man. He's going to do everything he can to make sure he wins this team a damn Super Bowl. And we're going to try and do it here today. Now, I did not pick which one we're going to do for offense. So triangle was on defense. I guess we're going to go ahead and do A. I mean, not A. We're going to do X for offense. So halfback stretch. Oh, the disengages was crazy. Ah, Micah on the outside. Oh, wow. 
Jordan Davis, the rookie, gets injured. But, hey, is, if he's injured, we're going to go right back into it. Oh, yeah, fight acres. Yes, sir. We like that. Here we go. We're going to run it three straight times. We have our pool guard with the nasty streak. So, hopefully, we can go get a first down here. Oh, good juke. Good juke by Mr. Cam Akers to go ahead and get that first down. It looks like we're a running team to go ahead and start off the year, but we're quickly going to change that. As soon as it's a pass play, oh, it's going to change for you, boy. There it is. Good hole. Good patience. And Cam Akers is just fighting right now. This will be the fifth run in a row that has been chosen with X, and it's kind of crazy. We haven't had one pass play yet, but if it isn't broke, don't fix it as Cam Akers is carrying the team on his back. Another first down. <sighs> Another run call. Oh, yeah. Bury him over. And now Micah Parsons goes down. Oh, yeah, this injury bug is crazy here in Tampa Bay. That's another run call. Literally another run call. Seven calls on this drive. Seven carries for Cam Akers. Now, we are supposed to sit here and lead by nine at halftime. Doesn't look like that's going to happen. Oh, man. Zach. You was definitely supposed to hold that block right there. Okay, yeah, we are definitely just going to tire Cam Akers out, and this is just just crazy to see. As we're going to go ahead and flip the run here, see if we can get something on the outside, and the disengages could just completely just messed me up. Not going to lie about it. As we have another run call. Can't even get my uh, receivers up if I keep getting run calls. Uh, get to the outside. No, I told y'all, Troy Anderson is definitely a glitch, bro. As our first pass play chat. I keep saying chat. It's just, we're on YouTube. Um, Let's see if we can find something open. Oh, Cook couldn't get there. I think I kind of rushed out a little bit, but we're going to go ahead and see if we can go ahead and kick this in and be down by four. As we look like it's a pretty good kick, let's see if it's there. And it is. So, this man Cam Akers got us down the field. Got us time to throw the ball and definitely didn't work out. So, I mean, it is what it is. So, I guess triangle is just all blitzes and X is where it's mostly just run. So, we're going to see if we can make something happen here. Pick! It's a pick! Palomala! Let's go! The first pick of the young Ricky's career. Threw it right at me. Didn't even expect that to happen, but I'm glad it did. And look at Cam, bro. Cam just sitting here doing it for your boy. As he's going to have to keep doing it as we keep getting run calls. Oh, he gets it to the outside. Can he get out there? And he doesn't. That man. Was that Sherman? Oh, no. Trey Waynes is just way too fast. We're going to flip this to the other side again as they have the man blitz. Gets it to the outside. Can we spin him out? And Cam Akers has no ounce of spin in his body. Two-minute warning, and we got to pass the ball. But Coach said keep it on the ground. We're going to get in the end zone with Cam Akers. And that's what we're going to do for Coach because we respect Coach. But the defense doesn't respect us as Michael Parsons just completely takes that away from us. The second straight drive goes down, and it results in a field goal. We allowed the very first drive for the Buccaneers to be a touchdown and then have played lockdown defense ever since. So let's see if we can go ahead and continue that going into the second half. Oh, great pressure. Great pressure. Once again, his second sack of the game. Carl Lawson making things happen as we got to call a timeout to save us some time to go up there and do some more work. And they go for the run as Cunningham blows it up in the backfield. Let's go, man. Now I could go ahead and block the kick. Go ahead and get ourselves a touchdown and do whatever. But I feel like not. Nah, we're just going to go ahead and make, let them go ahead and kick it as usual and see if we can make something happen. Oh, my gosh. This man, Austin, had a little bit of room but gets tackled by McClary, the rookie. And that was a nice little nice little tackle right there. Here we go. Able to finally throw the ball. We're going to make one hot route, and that's what Cam Akers to the outside. I forgot we got hot route master. Dump up in a pocket. And, oh, I've definitely forgot about that. Uh, 
Adam Thielen definitely makes the catch. We're going to go ahead and hurry up offense as the screen go ahead and glitches out a little bit. And then we're going to go ahead to mesh box, see if we can go ahead and get something here. Uh, let's go ahead and run out, run out, run out. Austin, Austin, make it count. Let's go. See, as soon as we got the offense to do, as soon as we got the offense to pass the ball, we was going to be a little explosive, and I'm glad that we can. Make a room. Make it happen. Denied. Shaquille Griffin just made the play of his life. Wow. That was easily a touchdown. His back was even turned against me. That is such a crazy pick. Wow. Oh, come on. Let us get a pick back. Come on. Let us get one back. Good D. Come on, team. One more stop. Just one more. Come on, good stop. Yo, these, yo, these linebackers came to play today. And that's what we needed. I know we don't have the best DBs. But when we need some actual defense, we can come through and make something happen. Good D. All right, so after that quick three and out, now we're going right back to offense. And now we're going to actual offense. Let's go, man. Let's see if we can make something happen. Step back in the pocket. Step back, step back, step back. We got it right there. Wow. He definitely came back over there to play that. Yo, these DBs, like I said, it's kind of crazy. So they kind of making some plays for him. But we got to make sure that... Oh, hello. Let's see if we can get something like this to work. Right there. Wide open to Robinson. Oh, we got to hurry up. We got to hurry up. We have no timeouts. We have no timeouts. We're going to flip the play. Let's see if we can get something quick. Four, three, two, one. And we get out of bounds with one second left to kick the field goal to go up by two. Great catch by Austin, man. Tucker, he already hit a 50. So let's see if we can go ahead and hit a 53. It's going to be wild because of all Madden. But let's see if we can go ahead and make this. Ooh, that's a little wild. A little wild. Let's see if we can get that in there. We do. Going up 9-7 at halftime. We don't get the nine-point lead by halftime, but we definitely do score nine. They have kept us within a field goal every, mostly every drive, so they're doing a good job on that part, but we got to go ahead and get something on offense. We held them to six yards. Six yards rushing. Come on, man. We doing our thing out here. And that was a huge three points as we get the ball to start to have. I think we're going to go ahead and take this out. Yeah, let's go ahead and take this out and see if we can get something here. I don't like the chances here. I don't want to fumble. Hey, we're gonna make something. We're gonna make we're gonna make something happen this drive. Guaranteed touchdown or your money back. Guaranteed. Cam Akers with the run. He has the blockers. This is painful. It's a little painful. Just a, just a little painful. Gets out there to the outside. He has good blockers again. And this man, Troy Anderson, is everywhere. I don't understand why this man has to be everywhere, but he just is. Here we are. We're going to go ahead and try this again. We're actually going to move Uzama out to the outside and go ahead and help with some extra block on the inside. And it definitely looks to pays off as we get the first down. Goes to the outside again. And Uzama, after doing a huge block on the first run, could not get in on the second one. We got to keep that consistency up there, man. You got Michael Parsons on one side, and you got Troy Anderson in the middle. It's definitely a nice little combo. And then as I talk about him, Troy Anderson once again clocking up the inside. This man is literally everywhere, bro. Play action pass sets up something. See if we can get something. We have the tight end wide open. Jared Cook, air truck to get back inside, and we get the first down. Five for eight for a Ross. It's not bad. Oh, uh, and this man Cam Akers is so tired. So next time he takes a hit, we're going to fall down to so avoid to get a... Uh, a fumble. See if we can get to the outside. Oh my gosh, that that just made him even worse, bro. Yeah, we need to we need to take him out the game, coach. Get him out the game. There we go. I like that. Sonny Michelle. Good. Good. Good blocking in the inside. Block him on the outside. And he makes a huge run and even breaks more to get to the 14 yard line. Hey. That's why we got some three headed monsters right there in the running back core ourselves. Hey, good little run right there. We're going to try a little trickery right here and go with the... Oh, oh hold on, hold on. Uh, 
That kind of hurts. Kind of hurts. Now it's second and 14. Coach, please let us throw the ball. He said, do it again. <sighs> okay. That's what Coach wants. Coach wants. There we go, Coach. That's how it should have been happening the first time. So I'm glad that happened. Oh, we get five wide in the red zone? Hey, not going to lie. Humphreys, Robinson, Thielen is what we're looking for. Step up in the pocket. Uh, we got nothing. We got to roll out. And I'm glad Aaron Rodgers did not fumble that ball as he gets the fourth down going into the fourth quarter, man. Oh, he wants us to go for it? Fullback dive? With who? Logan Thomas? We might get it. And we do. I did not know if they was going to give us that yardage. But, hey, look. Appreciate y'all, man. We're going to go ahead and continue on this drive. Hikes the ball and hands it to Cam Akers as he goes and try to truck some. And literally, that's just not a good idea. As Jordan Davis gets back into the game. This, hey, this front seven, I told y'all, is kind of a different breed. But we're kind of been running down their throats, doing what we need to. And we, yo, my tight ends be hoeing me. That's the second time. That's the second time. It's all right. As we go ahead and run the ball again and... This man, Buda Baker, comes in with the clutchest tackle of the game. And now is telling us to take our field goal. So we're going to go ahead and take our field goal here, even though we are at the one-yard line, just like Coach told us to. And we're going to be up 12-7 to as we haven't even got our first pass or a rushing touchdown of the season. DB Blitz. This is going to be a crazy little blitz. Let me see if I can go ahead and set it up the way that it should be. And we get it done. Oh, I thought it was going to be another pick. Derek Carr cannot handle the pressure. I guess we're going to keep sending it as long as it's triangle. And sure enough, we are going to go ahead and keep sending it. We're going to move him to the outside, move him in here. And then they changed up the play on us. So we're going to go ahead and move him over here, see if we can get something going. Go ahead and occupy him for a little bit. Come back into the middle. And we get ourselves a nice little tackle right here with Paula Mala. We got to keep it sane. We got to keep it going right. So we can go ahead and keep this W to ourselves, man. We do not need to lose this game. Uh, I thought I could get to the underneath, and it doesn't work. And a huge hit from Darius Slay, but couldn't cough the ball up. And now the Bucks is on their money drive, 12-7. to seven. Literally have scored seven points, and then the next points has been 12 unanswered by Dallas. See if we can go ahead and get something to happen here. Pick, pick, pick. No. He picked our car route right off and we couldn't even get ours back. That's so tragic. Thank you. Another pick. Paula Mala. Let's go, Paula. That's your second of the game. Let's go. We needed that, bro. We definitely needed that. And they was just going to keep throwing into that drag every single time. We go ahead and read it with his eyes. And we're going to go ahead and make some things happen. Now Cam Akers is going to run the ball out for us. Oh, we had a hole. We had a hole. It's okay. It's okay. I was even contemplating really thinking about trading Zach Martin to see if we can go ahead and get some more receivers and stuff like that. But if they're going to keep calling run plays like this and we're using coastal gestures, we might need all the offensive alignment we can get. So we're going to go ahead and hike the ball with the jet sweep, fake it, see if we can get to the outside, and Cam Akers gets the first down, and basically seals it. They want us to have Cam Akers to be the best running back in the league, I guess. They want us to just run and run and run with us. As we have a nice hole, try and get past Buda Baker, and we get the first down. He only needs two more yards. Only two more yards. We're going to go down one, and we're going to go and hit the stretch. We're going to get him 100 yards this game. This man's been running the whole game. He might as well get the other two. And there we go. We get two yards and more. As we get the first down, the 100-yard gain for this man, Cam Akers, and now we're just going to nail the ball out. Oh, we didn't even get the first down. Well, we got the 100 yards for him, and that's going to be the game, ladies and gentlemen. Hopefully, you guys enjoy that we get the W for the very first week. Go 12 unanswered points to come back on the Bucks and shut down their offense after their first offensive drive. It's a crazy game that we just had. Held them to literally six rushing yards, man. A total of 82 yards the whole game. That's actually pretty impressive. 
Here with the offense, 5 of 8, 114 yards in the one pick in the end zone that could have got us over top even more than we had this game. Cam Akers, 28 rushes, 108 yards, no touchdowns to show for it. Even Calvin Austin got ourselves some yardage. You got Sonny Michelle having a huge yardage in the game. We got Wandell Robinson getting 40. Jared Cook has that one catch. We really didn't throw the ball that much, and when we did, we actually sat here and got some nice yardage. And then we're going to go over here to the defensive side. And Carl Lawson coming away with two sacks in the game. And then Isaiah Palamala with two interceptions as well. Tackles for loss. We only had Zach Cunningham doing his thing. But Harrison Smith, Thomas Booker, our rookie D tackle doing his thing. Zach Cunningham as well with the one tackle for loss. The only tackle for loss that we had. Hey, doing some work. But if you guys enjoyed the first game, make sure you guys go ahead and leave a like. Comment down below some other stuff you guys like to see. Subscribe if you guys are new. And as always, folks, peace out. See you for game two.